is the genesis of an idea? Could it be as simple as this seed in my hand? It begins with a seed, planting a seed in the earth and watching the whole life cycle of that plant. You really never know what part of the plant you're going to end up using in a dish. Sometimes it can be the flower of the plant, the actual fruit of the plant, the seed pod, a very small leaf, or even the beginning, just the shoots of the plant. Being able to observe that and get some inspiration, sometimes that can just spark an idea for a dish. And from there, it's really about taking an idea, taking that seed and exploring the possibilities. My home garden is my inspiration. It's where I plant all sorts of herbs and different heirloom varieties of vegetables, things that are really hard to get hold of. It's really a place where I can meditate and think about ideas, get my hands dirty in the soil, and really just take in nature and its diversity. Some of the ingredients I have growing in my garden at the moment that are very interesting are things like the agretti, which is a herb from southern Italy. It has a very salty flavour. It's quite succulent as well. Then we have things like the silver sorrel, which is a beautiful herb. It's got this silver sheen over the leaf and has a beautiful lemon sorrel sort of flavour. And then I've got the cavolo nero. It's a different form of cavolo nero. It's a very curly leaf. Uh, and it has that beautiful sort of cabbagey mustard pungency about it. And then I've got things like the ice plant. And the ice plant is a real succulent, has little tiny ice crystals that form on the back of the leaf. A very interesting plant and very soft and succulent to eat as well. The plants from my garden have this really beautiful marine quality. To me, they feel like they need to be paired with seafood. The wild uh, Pacific oysters from Tasmania. They're actually eight to nine years old and they're hand dive. They're amazing. And they have this real intensity of flavor. So we're actually gonna be curing those oysters in some salt and then making an oyster cream to give the dish some real depth. Other things we're using, leather jacket roe. So I'm making a little caviar from the leather jacket roe to go with the dish itself. The flathead is from Corners Inlet, uh, which is down in Victoria. It's a very pristine place where they catch the flathead. And it's a rock flathead. So these actually eat crustaceans as part of their diet. So it has this richness of the flesh and a beautiful clarity of flavor. And with that, I thought of pairing it with abalone, which I think is going to be a very nice combination with all of the herbs from my garden.